सो हाई गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टेलिंग यू टू इंस्टॉल वाई डी वाई फॉर एम आई लेवन एक्स रेडमी के फोर डी दोको एफ थ्री सो द प्री कुछ चार यूनिट टू बी एन अनलॉक बोट लोडर यू नीट हाफ डी डब्ल्यू आर पी इंस्टॉल्ड एंड यू नीट टू स्टे ऑन एन एम आई वाई रॉम नाउ यू लव टू रिमूव योर गूगल अकाउंट्स यू लव टू रिमूव योर पासवर्ड एंड सिक्योरिटी एंड साइन आउट ऑफ योर एम आई अकाउंट एंड वन सिव डन ऑल दम You need to be having these two files in your internet. So it is the latest regional firmware of your uh, phone and the Void UI ROM zip. Once you have all of them, we can reboot into DWP. Once you have your recovery as booted, we can head into Wipe, Advanced Wipe, and select your Dalvi card cache. Then swipe to Wipe. Once that is done, we can go to Home, Install, and Select your original firmware, and then swipe to install. So once that is done, go back, go to install, select your ROM zip, and click on automatically flash to WRP after flashing a ROM, and then swipe to install. Once it's installed, you can check for errors. The fail to mount errors can be ignored, and here our recovery has been flashed. And now we can go home. We can go to wipe, format data, and type in yes. This will wipe out all your data. Now, once it's successful, we can reboot the system. So here the ROM is booted. Let me just do the initial setup. So here we are. Our ROM is booted, and it looks pretty good. Now, let's go to the Android version, and the Android version is thirteen. And the kernel version they are using is Immensity X, and the Android security update is on February fifth, twenty twenty three, and it's the official ROM. So let's check out the camera app. And well, this camera app looks pretty good. I like the UI, and we have a video. We have ten eighty p HD, four K. 480p, 720p, 1080p. We have a lot of options, and we also have the scan. We can scan text and PDF, I guess. And the photo is also good. So the camera app is pretty good. We also have the Dolby Atmos pre-installed, so that's nice. Now let's head into the game space. We have game space in this. We have the game space call option and notifications. Ringer mode do not change because block full screen events. We can we can disable the incoming calls and stay awake. Lock gesture and disable auto brightness are normal features, and we can add games in this and. We have screen time. You can see the amount of time we have used a single particular app. And battery, we have thermal profiles. We can set different thermal profiles for different apps. So for games, we can select on gaming, and for normal apps, we can select on default. And we have adapt battery option. Now let's check the. Volume panel. So this is how it looks. So this is how the volume panel looks, and the animation is pretty good. We have the MI sound enhancer. 
you have a design in the MIUI ROM that's available and like you have a clear speaker we have per app volume control this is the best thing so if you want to listen Spotify and uh, see YouTube videos together you can do this where you can reduce the sound of YouTube and listen to Spotify it's heading to display we have you can choose some good colors maximum and minimum refresh rate you can also use per app refresh rate so I can put settings to 60 so you can see it now it's in 60 let me change it to 120 there's a difference and let's go into accessibility we have audio description here a description of what's happening on the screen in supported movies and shows okay we have sound amplifier sound notifications we get we get sound when the notifications are there Oh, that's nice. We have live caption that is already there. Let's head into security. We have screen locks or fingerprints and normal things. Under system, we have gestures, status bar, backup, updater, and we have multiple users on so we can use two like guests and the main one so now let's test the Geekbench 6 on this oh my god you have got 2277 and the multi code is 3347 that's that's pretty good that's the highest score i've ever got since i bought my device so i guess this rom is good and this is a pretty high score i've ever got so now let's go ahead and try the CPU throttling. I'm pretty sure it should, it should be good. So we have got a at the start the graph fell to 80% but now we are having a constant 90% or 200%. So this ROM is pretty good for gaming and the, the ROM is pretty smooth also. If this video helped you on how to install YDY, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.